Hello, viewers. A very good evening. Maskasi, maskasi, maskasi. So, na na masumabu ama. Welcome to African Television Network. My name is Ronald Wepamakusha. So today, we want to discuss about the power of advocate Nelson Chamisa. So, uh, being a leader of an opposition political party, especially in a dictatorship like in Zimbabwe, is something which is very difficult and um, is something which can't be done by someone without much power and much wisdom. And uh, the ability of advocate Nelson Chamisa to survive under the cunning uh, Zanupia, you can actually see that uh, it is the power um, and wisdom of God. So you can actually see that um, Nelson Chamisa is facing a lot of things. Number one, he's a family man. He does have a family which he needs to, 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 to give attention to. And um, he does have friends. Um, he does have um, uh, colleagues at work. Then comes a responsibility of Zimbabwe. So you can actually see that um, as an individual, uh, some people are even failing to give much attention to their family, are, even to bal are, are failing to balance their work, their family, uh, their business and their friends. Some people are failing to balance all those things. But here is a man with a responsibility, like Advocate Nelson Chamisa. And you ask questions, how is this man managing? How is this man balancing his things? That is the power of wisdom. That is the power and influence given by God, especially when you're operating from a country like Zimbabwe. So Nelson Chamisa is facing people like Jonathan Moyo. Jonathan Moyo is a crude pro propagandist. And when you are dealing with propagandists, you have to be very careful when you speak. You have to be somebody who listens a lot for you to be able to deal with their propaganda. You, you have to be somebody who, um, who speaks less or who, who listens a lot and speaks less for you to be able to deal with people like Jonathan Moyo because what they are good at is to put words in your mouth. Once you say something, they create that, that they, they turn around that thing to become something. And Nelson Chamisa is money to deal with that. He is facing people like Emerson Mnangagwa, a very cunning and a very strategic old man who does not, um, who does not intend to, to, to leave power anytime soon. A man who thinks that, um, or who believes that he should die in power. These are the people he's facing. So you can actually see how cunning they are and um, how um, the, the level and the extent these people uh, can go. So another major obstacle to advocate Nelson Chamisa, which he has managed to deal with, are the supporters. Nelson Chamisa is supported by millions and millions of people. So Nelson Chamisa is facing supporters from outside Zimbabwe, that is the foreign supporters. He's facing local supporters, he's facing the intellectuals, he's facing the students, he's facing various groups of, of supporters, a lot of people, business people, who are, who are in support of Advocate Nelson Chamisa. So when you are dealing with such people, the business people will come with their templates of ideas and say, here are the ideas. And as a leader, you have to check them, you have to read them. You have to, 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 to study them, to see the worthiness of those ideas being presented to you. So the business side will come and say, President, this is what we are looking at here. This is the reason why we are supporting you. And as a leader, you have that responsibility. And you have to apply wisdom. You have to apply um, discernment for you to deal with that issue. You will see students coming and say, President, these are our, our, our presentations and our things here. This, that, this is another group of people coming. You see, the church will come and give you some, some suggestions. The other people, traditional people, will also come and give you other suggestions. Various religions will come and give you some, um, some advice and some suggestions. And um, so you can actually see that you will see foreign governments coming in support of you, um, hoping that you will get into power and they, they will need to, to, to do business with you. Because wh what happens is that when you are about to get into power, you find yourself in a position where foreign religions, they send their emissaries to you. So this is what Advocate Nelson Chamisa is facing. And the ability to sustain that 
um, in, in the nation of Zimbabwe, with the kind of politics we have in Zimbabwe, the ability to sustain that shows that this is a very, very powerful man. So you can you can measure his power by the by, by how the regime responds. Why do I say so? Is because the government of the day does have state apparatus in, in terms of intelligence. They work with trans or um, I, I, I don't know the, the, the correct the term to use, but uh, they have three levels, if not four, three levels to, uh, in, of intelligence. That is the PSI, that is, um, um, uh, no, the, the P, PIU, Police Intelligence Unit, that is the military intelligence, that is the, the state security intelligence. So you can actually see the levels of intelligence working with the state at, at this juncture which means they have the ability to gather information, much needed information regarding their opponent and to deal with him. So you can actually see that um, that ability of the state, especially in Zimbabwe, where there is much possibility of those institutions to be abused, you can actually see that uh, dealing with such people needs the power, needs the wisdom, because you have to be able to, to get as much information, um, much information as your opponent is doing, which means advocate knows internationally somebody who should know how to deal with the state security agents, with the military intelligence, with the uh, police intelligence. So you can actually see that you need to have much as much uh, information uh, as the, uh, the same as the president. If you go to to to, to countries like America. Um, a contestant is, is, is giving those, uh, those, those details to, 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 uh, uh, on his side. So you can actually see that um, here in Zimbabwe, you were supposed to see the, the, the major contestant like Advocate Nelson Jamisa getting as much information as possible about the intelligence of the, of, of the nation because this is somebody who is the next in line to be, um, to, to be the next head of state. So you can actually see um, how you must apply power, you must apply wisdom, so that you get the much needed information because for him to get the, the information regarding the government, he has to go through rigorous tasks. So uh, basically, it's difficult to operate if you're not powerful. It's very difficult to operate if you, if you, if you um, don't have control over something. Just imagine, Tomorrow, Jonathan Moyo is coming with another shenanigan. Tomorrow, uh, Emerson is coming with another shenanigan. Tomorrow, uh, another person is coming with another shenanigan. Another person is coming with advice. Just imagine the people who are in Nelson Chamisa inbox right now. WhatsApp inbox. How many are they? Just imagine people who are on, on, on Nelson Chamisa's uh, messenger inbox right now. The people on um, his Instagram, the people on his Twitter, People who are in his emails, how many are they? So this is a man who is dealing um, with a, a, a lot of things, some information which needs him to, to, to deal with personal or, uh, personally or to read personally without involvement of aid or any other people. So you can actually see that uh, when people complain much about him, about um, uh, him doing things in his own way or on his own time is because they don't understand uh, the, 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 the tasks ahead or the tasks at hand. So basically, you can actually see that we are dealing with men with power, with wisdom. That is the reason why you've seen CCC has managed to stand, has managed to, to garner so much support, has managed to infiltrate um, ZANU-PF strong has managed to do a lot of activities in a very short space of time. And uh, we need to continue supporting him. We need to support him. We need not to expect much from him, but let's expect much from ourselves. Let's give ourselves more tasks than the, the ones we, 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 we are attaching to, to the president himself. Let's do the dirty work. Let's do the groundwork for the party. Let's do everything else grassroots politics. Let's make sure that we have sorted the politics from family level, village level, gender, 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 up until to the national level. If we can co create that coherence where you will have this uniform message from the top 
to the bottom, you are going to see a wonderful campaign. You are going to see a wonderful run in 2023. And you are going to see a massive defeat of Emerson Mnangagwa. We are projecting Nelson to swing at 73 percent plus because there is no way uh, President Emerson Mnangagwa is going to win this election, given the fact that the economy is in, in, is in shambles. Nothing is working. The current has failed, the business has failed, the economy itself is failing, the education sector is failing, the health sector is failing, nothing is working. So let's just do our part. Let's work hard to make sure that we, we complement the power of advocates, not in Janisa. Without our support, it is going to be a very difficult task uh, for him. So let's just encourage people to make this type of vote. Let's encourage our family members to do the needful, to do what is right, and make sure that in 2023 we see. That's the reason why we come here. So as to talk, so as to speak, to make sure that we don't miss the election in 2023. Do your part as I do my part, as we all do our part, our role, our responsibilities. Talk to your family, talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors. Everybody must know that change has come and change is necessary in the nation of Zimbabwe. To make it again in another episode, thank you very much for coming. Please subscribe, please like, comment, share, and don't forget to uh, turn on the notification bell.